Hi all, this is Sunit Kumar Dash from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. Today we will see more about SFTP service in IICS. What is SFTP and SFTP service in IICS? Secure File Transfer Protocol SFTP is a prot file protocol for transferring large files over the web. It builds on the file transfer protocol and includes secure shell SSH for security components. SFTP is a client server protocol that can be launched as a command line or through a graphical user interface GUI. In the first type of setup, the user has to type in a specific command lines to generate the SFTP protocol, usually in a Linux environment. The second option is to use for the UI where we can use in visual mode. In the IICS, we can enable a service of SFTP to use it. Once we do it, the file server user with proper settings can log in with the provided password and then perform the file transfer. Okay, so now what we can see here is a file server and let's see how does we can create a file server user and how to use this SFTP service. So here I have already logged in with my account called as SSU Sumitta here with my credentials. And once you select this administrator service, then at the last point you will get this uh, file server option. You just have to click and the this is the list of file server which will come automatically. Now this summit is actually uh, this is my secure agent or you can say the runtime environment where this is actually running the SFTP server. <clears throat> so if you can see this SFTP is in right now in the started mode. If you click on this ellipsis icon, you can see these are the three options whether you want to stop or you can edit. Either you can select this option or you can directly go inside the uh, this file server summit or runtime environment and then uh, you can get all the required information. It may take some time to load. Okay. So here we will see there are three separate tabs called as HTTPS slash AS2 server. For one is another is for SFTP server, another is for proxy server. So uh, in for this video we have selected this SFTP server option we have to select this tab here and here you can see there are multiple option which can be which which we need to actually configure to get this file server so we will I'll cover each and every topic one by one Now here we can see about the file server users and here is the option to add a user. I have already created for convenience this file server user. Let me show what are the options present. If I select on this add user option here, here we have to provide a unique username which is uh, acting as like in your uh, uh, web user name when you, if you remember the MFD on-prem, it is a kind of a similar thing. You have to just provide the username here and you also have to give a valid email id you can use both of the options like generate a password based on the password policy or you can specify a password it depends upon you so these are the basic which is actually called as a general information now here you have to select the option of as2 sftp https or the folder permissions in case you are only working with the sftp server then directly you can disable the other protocols like this go to the sftp server since we are using the service then i am not going to disable it similarly i am going to disable the https folder permissions i am not uh, doing anything with it so over here i have enabled the sftp protocol and i am using this authentication type is as a password there are three other options called as public key use of public key both and the either so if you are using this password then definitely it will take the general password whatever you are giving it over here or if you can create a public key then then you have to provide the location of this public key so let me 
let me not save this right now let me discard it and let me go inside this uh, file server user so as you can see i have already created it let me go inside this sftp server and uh, i have enabled it as a password okay now what happens is if you know the web server concept in mft then it is using a separate username apart from the root user so here it will use the username of this file server user called as sumit and it will use the password of this account now let's get back to the file server for the agent sumit so in the same page we can we have already enabled the service for the sftp server so as you remember like we have to use select this option to enable the sftp server with a port now this is the default port whenever you enable the service it is the default port and this is the uh, secure server agent ip the actually the machine over which the secure agent is uh, running you can enable or disable scp if you want to copy files then you can use it these are the default settings for the timeout or maximum login times uh, like that now if, if you scroll down you will find algorithms list so these are the algorithm which is used for uh, connection uh, establishment and the encryption so these are already selected these are all by def or default algorithm cipher uh, selected for uh, mac algorithms and for enable compression algorithms like that these are the Hellman key exchange algorithm based on your uh, requirement you can select or deselect based upon your use case now if we if we move down you we can find the host keys over here which is uh, actually the location where you can save your private keys so what happens is it will use this private key to uh, create a connection like in sftp we require to have a username and password over here so it is required since it's mandatory option to have a PP, uh, private key and uh, it, there are two separate algorithms called as an rsa and dsa so we have to create uh, these files using a, a win scp or if you know the win scp you can directly go over the tools and you can run this uh putigen and from this or from this option of generate and save whatever the requirement like rsa and dsa algorithms you can uh, create those files i have already created those files and i have put it inside the location also this is the key paraphrase which will ask when you create a private file now these are the all upload restrictions if you want to apply any restriction while uploading the files or file getting any other information from the partner it's partner then you can use these uh, options you uh, once if you make any changes you have to go to, uh, go to this button and you have to click on save once it will save you will find a start button in the green form since i've already started it so it is disabled for me and uh, if i want to make any changes first i have to stop it so same thing now i have logged in inside my secure agent with my proper credentials and you can see that these are the folders once you install the secure agent over any of your linux or windows machine right now this is the linux one i have created this local folder test if i go inside this i have created uh, two folders input keys and output and uh, if you if i go inside this apps file integration service i can get all those required files if you want to check the logs you can go inside the logs to check the file integration service.log this is required when you uh, are starting, starting any sftp service okay now as in the concept of a web user in mft where i have already uh, give a brief explanation like how does it work so we have created a, a user in iics called as somet let's try to log in with the same okay let me create a new session now i if i click on edit this is the host name which is actually the my linux server host name and you remember like this is the 15022 is actually the default port number which uh, 
we have already seen in uh, in our uh, and in environment and i do not give any username and password here let me save it once again and let me try to have a login now the username what we have created or the file server user is sumit let me click on ok and it will prompt me for the password i have given the proper password now it is going inside this directory so this is the directory for the sftp i have already transferred the two files let me let me do another file transfer let me transfer this yeah so file transfer has been successfully completed so this location is only visible for the partner so they cannot go to any other location if you can see you cannot go at any other location for an example i want to go inside the root so you see you cannot go inside it because the partner only have an access to this location uh, for the admin user if you are logging inside the iacs how would you check where you will get all those files so if you go inside this location from the root iacs gcs b2b apps file integration service custom and this is my user summit so this user actually this location will give you all the files which are transferred so this is the point of verification from this option also you can verify so as you can see like test.pem file has been successfully transferred here and uh, by using the sftp service over iacs so this way we, we can enable the sftp we can configure it and we can use it we would love to hear from you you can drop us an email at supportvideos at informatica.com also you can send any query at our twitter account infosupport thank you